Playing virtual reality games has become a frequent pastime for me as of late. Spending like $500 on a virtual reality console and like 30 bucks every time you want to try a new experience is definitely an expensive hobby. But that's not to say it isn't a fun one. Oh, oh, he did? You can really be anyone you want in VR. A Doom clone, a dungeon crawler, and even Spider-Man. Kind of. Not really. See, if you ask me, I wouldn't say that there's a definitive Spider-Man VR experience. But what I do see is loads of potential for an amazing Spider-Man VR game to be made that combines multiple different elements from existing games I've already played. From games like Project Demigod, where you can become any superhero you want and do super insane combos in midair. Or in VR Chat's Spider Layer, where your Spider Manning experience is super customizable and there are many playgrounds to swing in. Or Spider Man Far From Home VR. We'll. We'll get to that one. And today I'm gonna talk about them all and how all these games could combine to create the ultimate Spider Man VR experience. Project Demigod is definitely the strongest game here if you really wanna get that Spider Man experience. In fact, if you have a VR headset that can play this thing, I definitely recommend forking over the $20 it takes to play it. In this game, you aren't limited to playing as just Spider-Man. You could even be Superman if you wanted to. This game doesn't really limit your options with the powers. You can even dual-wield abilities if you want. There's multiple maps to play around in, with interactive environments to use your powers in too. But on top of that, you also have the power to spawn in several different types of enemies. From drones that will follow you around and shoot you with lasers, to men with guns, or men with superpowers, or even flying enemies that will chase you around the map. If this game had the license for it, these models would totally be swapped out with classic Spider-Man enemies like Vulture, or Green Goblin, or Venom. Not to mention the spider powers this game gives you to fight them. In this game, you're armed with your web shooters. They can either be used to swing, or shoot web balls to stun your enemies. These can be used on anything, from webbing down enemies, to stopping cars, to flinging objects. This game goes so in-depth with its features. You could easily create a car chase mission, where the player has to stop a speeding car using the web shooters, or stop debris from falling on citizens. You could do so much with this concept. Let's not forget about the swinging in the game. Now I will concede and say that I think another game in this video definitely has more realistic swinging physics, but I also won't downplay the ones on display in this game either. Project Demigod's swinging physics allows you to swing in the air with the same grace and finesse that Spider-Man has, due to its beginner-friendly web zip feature that allows you to boost in any direction by just simply pulling on your web line. It may not be realistic, but it's definitely cool. It just takes less skill, which, in my opinion, is good. Not only that, but this game also has a sort of spider sense feature. If you press the right button on your controller, you can slow down time to about a third of the pace. This helps especially for making sure you don't miss your web shots, and also if you were to try to catch an enemy, or a falling Gwen. I find myself actually leaving this mode on for too long while using it, so maybe implementing some sort of meter that depletes as you have it on could definitely help with keeping the player moving in real time. But aside from that one nitpick, this game is really, really fun to play, and is genuinely the closest I've felt to being Spider-Man in VR than I have playing anything else. Now that being said, let's move on to another game that adds something just as cool as Project Demigod. Spider Lair resides within the hellscape known as VR Chat. Oh, stop! Somebody else had caught where you can swing around several different versions of New York as Spider-Man. Spider Layer brings several different ideas to the table, with dozens of customizable features, from what Spider-Man suit you wear, to what sound your web shooter makes, and what color your fucking webs are? It's like if God let you customize the color of your piss and what sound it made. This is the game I said had more realistic swinging than Project Demigod which means it's much less accessible, and it's way harder for beginners. The swinging in this game has no programmed web zip feature, unlike Project Demigod, which means that you won't be able to web zip forward at all. 
But that doesn't mean the swinging in the spider layer isn't any fun. If anything, it just means that you'll be a better swinger, since you lack the training wheels that Project Demigod gives you with the web zip feature. It definitely takes some time to learn, and trust me, even after being an expert at swinging in most Spider-Man games, it still takes a while not to slam into buildings all the time. You'll get there soon. Let's talk about the costumes this game has to offer. They have a pretty bangin' version of the classic Spider-Man Long Johns here, along with pretty much almost every other major Spider-Man costume he's ever appeared in. From Miles Morales to PS4 Spider-Man, pretty much all of the movie Spider-Man, almost any costume you would want to wear, you can. You can also fucking change what time of day it is! I usually just tend to be boring and turn on whatever time of day it currently is when I'm playing it. And not only that, there is a super active and dedicated community of people here who are always coming and going no matter what time of day it is. I even saw people familiar with my channel while recording footage for this video. Shout out to Astonishing and Dead Spider for taking this selfie with me. And you know, the social environment of this Spider-Man experience gives me an idea. What if, in our proposed Spider-Man VR swinging game, we not only include the combat from Project Demigod, the customization of Spider-Layer, and the X-Factor, a VR dating simulator. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. Spider-Man gets bitches, okay? Would it really be the ultimate Spider-Man VR experience if you didn't get to use one of his greatest powers, his spectacular spider Riz? No, it fucking wouldn't be. So, we have one more Spider-Man VR experience to add to this imaginary Spider-Man VR game crockpot. And this one is really, really close to being good. It's Spider-Man Far From Home VR. I wanted to say it sucked off the bat earlier, but that's not really accurate. It has amazing parkour mechanics, which allow you to hop from building to building in a really fun and kinetic way. The web shooters are fun to use, and you can fire bursts of webs, web shots, and even make massive web barricades. You also get to unlock multiple in-game Spider-Man outfits, which you can see as you swing in-game. But the swinging is just not fun because of the way it works. These swinging mechanics don't function at all, and by that I mean you really don't get to swing in this game at all. You grapple. You see, if you wanted to make a realistic Spider-Man swinging experience, you would do something similar to Project Demigod or Spider Lair. You shoot a rope, and you swing off that rope. It's that simple. The length of the rope doesn't change until you shoot a new one. But in Spider-Man Far From Home VR, you shoot out a web line, and you are dragged through the air to the area that you shot the web at, and it just doesn't feel good. Which sucks, because the game opens with you jumping off of a building. If the game wanted you to actually enjoy jumping off of a building and swinging after, they would let you keep the momentum from falling with your swing. But you don't get to do that, because the momentum of the swing is sucked away because of the grapple swinging mechanic. It literally stops you in midair and pulls you towards whatever you shot your web at, as opposed to banking off of that swing with an awesome fucking web shot and riding that rope all the way until you let go. This game is so close to being a bite-sized, fun Spider-Man swinging experience, but the main mechanic of the game just isn't fun to use. If I had to recommend any of these games to you, it's Spider Layer. It's on VR Chat, which is already free, and the swinging there is much more realistic. And if you get bored of Spider Layer, try Project Demigod. It's worth what you pay for, and I stamp it with my PSM stamp of approval. But I can't give that stamp of approval to Far From Home VR. But that isn't to deny that these games' mechanics and features couldn't combine to create something great. With Project Demigod's many enemies to fight, the intense combat gameplay, combined with Spider Layer's sense of community and customization of appearance, topped off with the parkour and web shooter mechanics of Spider-Man Far From Home VR, I could totally see a VR game becoming the greatest Spider-Man experience of all time. As long as they keep the dating simulator idea in. End card, end card, end card. I love the end card segment. I'm a PSM fan who sits to the end and is dedicated. That's who you are. That's you talking, by the way. That's, that's you. Anyway, 
I really, I really do think it would be awesome to get like a spider, like a fully fledged Spider-Man VR game. And honestly, I can't really think of any other hero that would be extremely fun to have this with. I mean, you could argue that like someone like Batman or definitely Superman would be fun to play as, but I think Spider-Man is just more of a fun and kinetic character than either Batman or Superman. I think Superman definitely has a stronger argument, but Spider-Man's more popular? Yeah, I think he's more popular than Superman. I, I think I can say that. So, yeah, I just think a Spider-Man VR game would be really fun. And it sucks that I have to, like, go to different games to get what I want, you know what I mean? Like, for example, if I want to wear a cool Spider-Man suit and socialize with other people, I'll go play spider Layer. But if I want to go beat the shit out of a villain in the air and do like insane crazy combos and break people's spines, then you go play Project Demigod. And I don't really touch uh, the Far From Home game. I actually remember hating it and I wanted to include it in the video. I, I, I wanted to say it was bad off rip, but I played the game and I was like, okay, the, the swinging still definitely sucks. But there are other mechanics here that are like still fun to use, which is really a shame because if the Spider-Man Far From Home VR game had good swinging, I would just play that game all the time. Like that game is like literally one step away from being like a really solid Spider-Man VR experience. It's the end card. I don't care about my voice cracking, by the way, but that game is like really, really close to being like a great spider-man vr experience i mean if you really want to try it uh, sure go go give it a try but the swinging is just not i would not recommend it it's not fun it's you're not getting the true experience and i don't think you would know that unless you've tried other spider-man swinging games but yeah i think a spider-man vr game would be really cool and i think marvel is missing out by not doing one anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.